Hello, my name is Felipe Gavilan, and in this video, we are going to see how to integrate SuiteAlert 2 with an ASP.NET Core MVC application. SuiteAlert 2 allows us to have beautiful alerts in our applications. Let's see an example. Instead of having this normal boring dialog, we can have something fabulous like this. So let's see how to integrate this in MVC. So first what we're going to do is that we're going to go to Visual Studio and we're going to create a new project. Let me write here model because I want to create an MVC application. Next, I'll call it MVC and Suite Alert 2. Next, I'll leave this as it is and I'll just click create. So the first thing that we need to do is to install Suite Alert 2 in our application. For that, we have to go back here and let's go to installation and I need to copy this script from here and then go back to my MVC application. I'll go to the layout page in views, shared, layout, and then below here, below this bootstrap bundle, I will just put this SuiteAlert script. And that's it. With this, we have SuiteAlert 2 in our application. Now let's make two examples. The first one is just going to be some simple dialogues and the second one is going to be about intercepting a form. So for that, let's go to views home index. Let me delete this and let's write here. Example one, simple usage. I'll just put here a button. I'll call it basic alert. I'll say class button button primary and then on click because I want to execute a JavaScript function with a click, I'll call it display alert. And now let me make a section script here and then in here a script tag and then I will copy this and I'll say function display alert and then in order to use sur alert I'll say swell dot fire example with sur alert 2. Now let me press Ctrl F5 to run my application and let me click on here and as you can see this is working. Now as you could see we have here, let me go up, we have here this icon which is a success icon. So let's see how we can do that. So for that we can go back here and I will create a new button with success here. Display alert success, I'll call it well done and now let me create a new function so i'll say swell fire and the first parameter is going to be a title i'll say excellent good job this is the body of the dialogue and then finally we can put here the icon i can write here success there are several icons here in suit alert let me come down here just to show you the icons, here they are. We have icon here, we have warning, error, success, info, and question. In our case, we are using success. And let's see what we got. Let's come here. Let me save. Let's come back to Google Chrome. Let's come back here. Well done, excellent, good job. And our success icon. We can also use error, for example. Let's come back here. Let me duplicate this. I'll say danger. And then I will say error, display alert, error and then I will just copy this, paste it here, change the name of the function, then I will say error for the title of the dialogue, there has been an error for the body of the dialogue and finally for the icon I can say error. Now let me save, let's come back here and let's see that indeed we have an error dialogue. Now the second example as we mentioned is that we're going to intercept a form so that when we try to submit it, we're going to be met with a dialog from SuiteAlert2 that is going to ask us to confirm the operation. So let's do that. First, let's come back here. I want to go to the home controller because I need to create an action here. HTTP post public I action result index a string name. I will allow the user to write its name on the form return redirect i want to redirect to a new action that we're going to create called completed and then new name then let me create an action right now public i action result completed a string name return view completed name as you can see our model is going to be of type a string so let me create this view let me go to the Solution Explorer. In Home, I will create a new view. I'll choose the empty template and I'll call it completed. I'll delete this. I'll say model a string, 
h2 thanks for using my app and i will write here the name of the person now let's create a form let's come here and let me say here h1 intercepting a form let me say here form method post div class mb3 label for name class form label name and then an input type text name name this is for the name of the person like first name class form control and then button send type submit class button button primary so let's see what we got let me save everything and let's come back here and let's see that i can write my name and then send and as you can see we have thanks for you see my app felipe which is fine now let's go back here and as i said what i want to do is that i want to intercept the form before it is posted so what i can do is to come here and override the on submit event and say send form event then let me create this javascript function let's come here function send form e e prevent default with this i am preventing the form from being posted and now i can use with alert i can say swal fire i can say title do you want to save the changes icon i can use the question icon show cancel button i can say true and then after this i can say then which is going to be fire after the user clicks on a button so result if result dot is confirmed then here i can get the form i can get the form through this variable e or i can use an id i'll just use an id id my form so let me copy this and let's come here and say const my form equal to document get element by id my form my form submit and with this i am submitting the form and that's it so let's review what we did i am preventing the form from being posted and instead i am using suite alert in order to ask the user if they actually want to post the form if they do then i will submit the form if they don't then this code will not get executed and the form will not be submitted let's see that let me save and let's come here let's say claudia enter and as you can see we get a question if i press cancel nothing happens but if i press ok then then the form gets posted let's go back here and let's see that this works even if we have validations for example let's say that this field is required so i'll write required and by the way if you notice we have here this autocomplete i can turn that off if i want to let's come here and let's say autocomplete off save now let's come back here and as you can see we don't have the autocomplete anymore and now if i press send you can see that i have please fill out this field because this is required and if i write my name for example i can press enter and everything works as expected if you want to learn more about net please check out my udemy courses today i have courses on building applications with react and sp.net core building applications with angular and sp.net core i also have a course on entity framework core and more link with a discount to all of my courses in the description of this video thank you